Hey, welcome to X3, one topic with three, count them, three pundits, myself included. I'm John C. Dvorak. I'm here with Andrew Eisner and Joe Engo to discuss the question, which seems to be cropping up in the news, will Microsoft uh, bring out a television, a TV, a Microsoft TV, of course, because we've heard nothing but n rumors about Apple TV, and that's, those rumors are getting more and more substantial. And, of course, Microsoft, being the company that it is with great creativity, says, well, if they're doing it, we should do one, too. And, yeah. of course, it, this should be good for a laugh, if uh, you know what I'm I don't think so. And I think then, actually, in wait, response wait, wait, to... Stop. What do you mean you don't think so? You no, don't think I mean, gonna, I, Microsoft I, will just blow it? Like no, because, uh, obviously, you know, they're trying, they're starting to make some progress with Xbox. I mean, in the Kinect, and uh, they can do gesture things, and... Have, have you noticed, do you remember when AOL had, they had their, it was called AOL TV, yeah. and, there was, and then Microsoft had theirs, it was called uh -huh. Microsoft TV. This is old. This is like 10 years ago or longer. Yeah. And they came up with a set-top box... Yeah. Yeah. Which is a collectible, by the way. <laughs> Microsoft, if AOL had one, then Microsoft had one because Microsoft AOL was their, what they were targeting at the time. And they had this all stuff, and they had all these features and all these cool things it was going to do, and none of it worked. I don't know why the, the Xbox just can't be the Microsoft TV. I mean, it does everything yeah, yeah, already. Yeah, it may very well be. I mean, you know. You don't need another thing. No, and uh, the fact is that the interesting thing is that it look, I think we're seeing a, a shift in TV technology towards software. It's sort of like, okay, so how much can you do with a TV? I mean, plasma, LCD, you know, 120 hertz, 240 hertz, but it's really going to be the software inside the TV, and I think this is maybe what Apple is. If Apple combined, you know, recommendation engines and, and uh, Siri type, you know, uh, features, and, and make a TV sort of more personal and, and uh, smarter. Well, like, for really Apple, it's about TV. selling the content. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's all it's about. That's why I don't Connected think there's going to be the any. And, yeah. Well, you yeah. think you're thinking that the TV, the Apple TV, is going to be an IP TV? Yeah, of uh, course. possibly, but it's definitely not going to have any PVR kind of functionality. I don't think. I mean, because oh. why would they? They they want you if to buy the thing is uh, on demand, right? Yeah. yeah. But what about broadcast television that, that they don't make it necessarily available on demand? Yeah, well, that's there's a number a of shows that do not do that. Well, you're They're, still going to have to have a cable box with it, you know. But and so you may have to have some recording. I don't know. I, yeah, you know, we'll see. But 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 the fact is that I think that's why it makes sense for the software companies like Apple, Microsoft, Google to get into the TV business because it's the software that's going to really make the TV smart and and the interaction with the cloud and and the interaction with the recommendation engine and the social networks. I think it's going to be the next wave. So of my vision, TVs. and I wrote a column about this, yeah. I think recently in PC Magazine or somewhere. That of the Apple TV is it's a it's a smart TV very you know it's got all these yeah. features and it's nicely designed and thin and you know cool looking and and it's controlled by a giant iPad which comes with it and it's got special software that lets you do what on the screen you can uh -huh. do all this stuff it's all done on the iPad you can look up the TV what you want to record yeah, or download or whatever and it would be a you know, smart controller and the like the one that uh, Logitech has only the yeah. mem what's that called the Melody or whatever yeah, it's called. Yeah. I can't Harmony. Think. Harmony. Harmony, yeah. yeah. So the har but only big, because mm -hmm. it's got the, and you have all these kind of features that would be very mm -hmm. cool. Uh, and, and I think they would very slowly inch into, you know, selling iTunes copies of certain TV yeah. shows or whatever. Well, I think that would be the primary focus is well, to sell more iTunes content. Yeah, maybe. And, and the other big thing, I think the trend, in fact, you know about DLNA, you know, it's and, and AirPlay is sort of Apple's proprietary DLNA. DLNA is actually the, the technology to move content around. So, I mean, I think this is going to be the part of the... What does it do? It allows you to, to play a, a something that's on your laptop on your TV or on your phone or print it. It's, uh, Samsung calls it all share, Apple calls it AirPlay, but I think this is gonna be another big part of the TV. So you'll, be, you'll have something on your iPad and you say, okay, let's, let's do the picture show up on the TV instead of everybody crowding around the iPad. So but we actually do it about once a week at my house. Okay. I have friends over, you know, everybody just has, brings AirPlay. up their iPhone. Yeah, yeah, right through the Apple okay. TV, everybody brings up, you playing YouTube videos, yeah. putting pictures up from the previous week or videos yeah. or whatever. We do it a lot, believe it or not. So the, really? The, yeah. yeah, no, I'm dead serious. We do it a lot, and it's, it's pretty fun. It's so, pretty fun. Um, yeah, but I think the next evolution to that is that the Apple TV is not just going to be about content, it's going to be about applications. That's what I think is going to be the killer feature, and that's what's going to put Nintendo out of business. 
It's going to put Nintendo out of business. If Apple comes out with... write this one down. Yes, no, <laughs> I, I swear. If Apple comes out with applications on the Apple TV and the Apple TV becomes successful, it will put Nintendo out of business because how the hell could they compete with that? I, I agree. I think apps will be a big thing. I, I'm surprised that Google didn't put Android apps on Google TV. I think Google missed out on that. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, it's the appification. We've talked about this before. But, you know, interesting, before I forget, too, you know, did, you just, did you read that story about um, my, uh, Connect being possibly able to re-lips uh, Yes, in the that's future. an interesting story. <laughs> I, I don't think that's going to work very well, to be honest with you. This is like that how 2001, right? Where yeah. he read Dave's lips and... <laughs> <laughs> Dave's lips. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so that could be the new. That could be one of the because because everybody's talking about the Apple TV, how it's going to be. You're going to talk to it by Siri, but I think that's ridiculous. I mean, it's going to be a loud room. How are you going to say hey, TV? You know, turn the channel. Well, you'll hold up your iPhone to your face and it'll be like computer. Like, uh, yeah. You know, I think people watch too much TV anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. How much TV do you watch? I watch too a lot much. of TV. I watch too much. Yeah, okay. And I have to. I keep it. I limit myself to certain shows that I'll watch, and I tend to DVR them so I can mm -hmm. get so I can get rid of them in forty minutes instead of an hour. Sure. Because you, you lose speed 20. watch. Yeah. Speed watch. Sure. Well, that's just yeah, you know, know, speed yeah. watch to me is a football game because right? okay. it, it's exactly thirty seconds between uh, plays generally, unless they're playing a hurry up offense, and so you can record about. For, uh, two thirds of the football game, and then plow through okay. it, <laughs> and then get right to the end. And, and just if you're really good at this, boom! Time comes to live, and is one minute left. Wow! Uh, it's a it's a it's a it's art, a, yeah. not a science. <laughs> but uh, so I do all that because, it, and I think a lot of TV watching requires commercial elimination, and I it, which doesn't match well with the models that all these people have created because you can't afford to do the content if you can't get some money to do it. Oh, I almost shows. never watch commercials anymore. I, I I can't stand it. I feel like I'm wasting my time. That's why and they're showing too many commercials. Yeah. Now they're starting to slip commercials into the content. There was a show we were watching last night where I'm trying to think what show it was, but it was they're they're driving a they come driving down the the driveway and then the shot shows the back of the car, which is a Ford Explorer, a Ford one of the Fords. And the woman as she then they cut inside the thing, she says, I didn't know I was going to have to drive so quickly around the corner. She said, well, you know, this car slows down if, you, if it's going to flip, so there's no danger. And then they show the front of the car again, and it says it's got the Ford logo, and they're bouncing around. Wow, very think, subtle. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> subtle at all. That's the joke of it. We're going, this is like a commercial right in the middle of the show, and it was content. It was part of the content. Uh -huh. You couldn't get it out of, out of there. Yeah. Very the other thing that uh, I forget which channel does that. I think it's like the History Channel. They'll have like I think like Pawn Stars or, or Pawn uh, what do they call it? The, the Pawn Pawns, Stars. Pawn Stars. Yeah. 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 So they'll have like you know the show, and then like right in the middle, then suddenly they have this five hour energy drink. Like they're talking like as if it's actually part of the show. Yeah. And then they're like, oh yeah, we have this five hour energy drink over there. It's like, oh come on, this is ridiculous. It yeah. catches you every once in a while, yeah. but. Well, I mean that's what we you know, gee I you know you. We're, while we're talking about the Microsoft TV, would you like a little Coca-Cola? Because yeah, we got some we can bring in. I mean, yeah, that kind of thing. It's, it's, that's what's going to have to happen, at least in some level. I think you're right. And they're going to have to pay a lot of money for that. Yeah, yeah. But, but meanwhile, I don't watch yeah. it. I won't, no, I'm yeah. like you. I don't like watching commercials. And I don't know how they're going to, what the future of television is going to be like without commercials. Because I yeah. don't think you can really stock a show 100% yeah. with these built-in commercials. But anyway, it looks like the future t of television is going to have Apple in it. Because, I mean, there are some pretty... Uh, for, uh, strong rumors now that they've already uh, ordered the the glass or the sets. Uh, they say Sharp is going to be producing yeah, sharp, 55 inch, five inch yeah. LCD. Sharp, yeah. So uh, there you go. And they say maybe sometime in early 2012 we'll see a TV. But there's also another interesting rumor that uh, apparently that Apple's getting four inch yeah, iPhone screens four inch. being shipped. Well, I mean that's well, that's no surprise. I mean yeah. they have to do that. And then they've lined up suppliers for the iPod, uh, iPad three. So the Retina display and the do iPad you screen. have uh, do you have a great need for a four inch uh, iPhone? No. You would use your iPhone. And go. Oh, I wish the screen was bigger. No, honestly, I think it's a it's the perfect size for what I do with it. Honestly, yeah. I mean, when a four inch screen comes out, are you going to flock to it, buy it immediately? Of course. Yeah. I mean, it's it's yeah. a new iPhone, so of course I will. The question but will be is how easy will it be to uh, use the keyboard? That, that is a big question. Screen, yeah. Think, so people with small hands, I think, will stick with the smaller screens. Well, but if there's only the four-inch <laughs> iPhone, then you know you're not no? gonna have any options. It could be. Yeah. Well, that crapped out, didn't it? 
<laughs> we thought we were going to go someplace with this story, but well, apparently not. We went around in circles. We went around in circles. <laughs> so anyway, Microsoft's going to bring out a TV probably, and it'll probably be yeah. a TV made by Vizio that says Microsoft, and that's going to be the end of it. You've, you've been watching uh, X3.